Buhari orders APC-controlled Senate to confirm another Northerner to powerful position. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys, welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again guys for all you do for this channel. We really appreciate you. God bless you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Buhari is at it again. He has just um, ordered um, the APC-controlled Senate. We call it the APC-controlled Senate because we know the Senate cannot, um, they don't, they can't even kick against um, any of um, President Mohammed Buhari's um, requests or any proposal he puts before them. They are all doing Buhari's bid. Buhari, before now, he's been accused of um, tribalism, nepotism, but he claims that, um, no, he's not doing that. If we check all the um, top um, of uh, uh, positions, all the federal agencies and all the appointees, all the appointments he makes, they are all northern as yet again, he has made, um, he's, he's requested that um, the Senate, he has ordered them, not even requested, he has ordered the, his, the Senate, who are APC controlled, to uh, appoint to confirm another northern man for this matter not just any position a powerful position in the country we'll bring you all of the details shortly guys but before we do please don't forget to like share and to subscribe also press on that bell it really does mean a lot to us god bless you my people yes we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details president Mohammed buhari has requested the senate to confirm ahmad halilu as the National Space Research and Development Agency's Substantiative Director General. In January, People's Gazette had reported how Nigeria's 18 billion Naira satellites were operated overseas as the space agencies deteriorated. Mr. Buhari's media aide Gabashehu confirmed these developments in a statement on Tuesday in Abuja. In a letter to the Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, Mr. Buhari said he was acting in line with Section 14 of 1 and 2 of the NASAD Act 2010. It is not clear Mr. Halilu will be able to stop the rot if approved by the Senate. Mr. Halilu was until his nomination the Acting Director General of the Agency after being the Director of Strategic Space Applications in the same organization from 2009 to 2019. He previously worked at the National Population Commission, Federal University of Technology, MENA, and the National Emergency Management Agency. Regarding the agency's facilities, crumbling state, multiple sources at the space agency had told the Gazette that NASAD had long been unable to access information from the country's Earth observation satellites due to the inoperative ground station. We can't access our geographical information satellites since the ground station broke down completely in 2014. A long time ago, NASDA employee disclosed. Another source pointed out, if we need information about our geo graphical information system it is either we go to other countries that have satellites that can cover nigeria or we pay china to access our satellites and download information for us all the officials the gazette had contacted explained that the moribund state of the ground station was partly linked to mr buhari's scant interest in science and technology including the influence of a strong cabal within the agency that benefits from Esther codes derived from frequent foreign trips to retrieve information from Nigerian satellites. Various sources revealed that the station's breakdown had equally resulted in the loss of revenue for the country. The Earth observation satellites covered the whole of West and East Africa, and officials said, A lot of countries in these sub-regions do not have satellite stations, so they usually pay a substantial amount of money for NASAD to get geographical information about their regions. We also need these services for ourselves. One of these satellites is meant to detect natural disaster before they happen, while the other is meant to take images at least once a day to capture migration of people which can be useful in the fight against terrorism, the source added. An economics, Chuma Eze had told the Gazette if they prioritize servicing the satellites, Nigeria can earn good revenues to shore up its dwindling resources 
by providing critical information on other sub-Sahara African countries, Mr. Eze said. But like every other sector, Nigerian satellite technology has become a shadow of its old self. Buhari knows why um, these uh, satellite stations should not work because one of the advantages, one of the, the, the roles it plays is that it can capture migrants, people who are entering the country, they see from where they enter, how they sneak in and all of that. They can capture all of those. But, and that helps to fight um, this terrorism. It helps to fight this insecurity we're dealing with. But all of those does not concern President Mohamed Buhari. Those are not his priority. It's so sad. But um, right now, he has just appointed um, this. Um, you can see now, the appointment he made now is not even someone uh, um, who is not affiliated to him. He's still appointing someone that would do his bid. So regardless of the fact that he's, con he's um, ordering the APC um, controlled Senate, that's the term that has been used. So APC will know what they are doing and then um, the Senate as well. Uh, um, he, in spite of the fact that he has ordered um, the APC controlled Senate to confirm this northern land for this position, he doesn't still um, tell us, he doesn't um, show that um, he would do something about these satellites because this thing has been down since 2014. He assumed power in 2015. He's done a whole first tenor. He's done four years and he's on his way to a second tenor. Ending the second tenor, nothing has been done about it. These guys, they don't value, they don't, I, I see. I, could I call them enemy of progress? I don't know. And another major importance of this satellite, if it's functioning, is that we can also generate revenues from it because other, some other uh, sub-Sahara uh, African countries around us, they don't have uh, these satellites that they can use for themselves. So what they normally do is that uh, they send money to ourselves um, to get... Um, to get a, a v trust for them so they send money to nigeria they pay to use our services to get all of this rather we are the ones you can imagine rather we are the ones paying if we need to know anything we either pay china or we send some officials and you know a source within um this uh, um, department who didn't want to be mentioned who um, pleaded anonymity stated that within the cabal there, there's some people there who are happy that this this satellite is not functioning so that they can be taking trips they can just be traveling in the name that they are going to get information. They are going to get uh, visuals. They are going to uh, uh, take um, data or so whatever they need from the satellite from other countries, from another country. It's such a shame to President Mohamed Buhari. And it tells us that this appointee he has made, this uh, the, 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 the Northern and this Northern and that he has just um, ordered the Senate to confirm nothing will be done my people let's not deceive ourselves let's tell ourselves the truth nothing will be done anyway guys let's uh, um, hear your take on this thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless